This is what is tearing me apart now. I mean, how could my father abandon me and send me to boarding school? Institutionalized ice-cold showers? Where was the natural love there? Where is my place in mankind? In the universe? Uh, yeah. Western culture, the death of exoticism, human warmth. Uh, I cannot endure the trivialization of my life anymore, my sacred existence. Uh, too much clinical coldness. Ah! Oh, uh, the shoulder aches again. <laughs> he clutches it. Oh, I c could use some pain killing opium. Her, her, her chest caves in. She puts her head in her hands and weeps. She breaks down, yeah. And when she weeps, her black eye makeup from that cold makeup uh, runs down her face. Yeah, makeup runs down her cheeks. Huh? Looks terrible. Well, uh, the Aussie, he's too stoned to stand up, uh, so he crawls over to the devastated Zadu S and, uh, on his hands and knees. Fronts are up, like, uh, look, mate, don't be a broken ass. You, you just don't belong in Europe anymore. You live with those damn chitrollies too damn long already. And you've done something no European has done since, uh, well, Sir Richard Burton in the 1800s. You went native. And you've become a real uh, kick-ass bitch. Hell, I got heaps of uh, too much gear, okay? I'll leave my extra stuff with you. You can flog it off to the natives, get a few rupees together, and get your ass back to Chitral. No worries, mate. Uh, and once you get over that Lawari Pass, that snowbound, impenetrable pass, you're on the inside. You're on the freedom side. You're on the, like, do your own thing, be who you are side. And uh, with that groovy uh, twin brother, king, boyfriend, uh, where you belong. You drop a few teeth. Who the hell gives a <laughs> flying about that? You're a trolley mountain queen? Now, uh, be proud of yourself, mate. You've accomplished something really great. And look, hey, when I get to London, okay, look, you know, I'll ring up your mom and dad. And tell them about your lifestyle in Chitral and that you're, you know, okay and everything. And look at it. Look at me. Here's a five pound British note. I'll get you back to, well, Kandahar to your, your mate there, P. Sally, huh, with the LSD on the menu. Hashish cookies stacked up. Would knock a camel down on their knees. That stuff down there. Yeah. A Kabul, you ain't down to Khyber Pass. You get down to Jalalabad. Well, you know that territory really good. Buy a mule. Get your gun and your bandolier of bullets together and, you know, the back way. Back to your kingdom in the Victorian palace. And you speak the native lingo in all these areas. Uh, <laughs> I cannot do it anymore. You will fuck me up. Oh.
Well, uh, so Ozzy, he packs the ball in the uh, huge uh, hookah. And uh, come on, mate. Don't be a broken ass. We got 20 more grams of this shit we got to smoke before the morning. Wrap your laughing gear around this here hookah slinky and suck. Uh, well, she does, uh, uh, you know, suck on the hookah. <laughs> she likes sucking on hookah slinkies. Sorry if I don't know. Uh, and, uh, and pulls herself together. Well, somewhat. Uh, and uh, amusing, aloud. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe. I just needed a break. From Chichal for a while. You know, a, a little vacation uh, uh, in Afghanistan to change my hair a little bit. You know, instead of bumming myself out by hitchhiking all the way overland to London, it ain't 10,000 kilometers from here. What's a good possibility mm -hmm. of stranding myself there for a long time without any money? Oh, no. <sighs> that feels right because if I, you know, I limit my vacation, suggest Afghanistan, I'll only be one week away from Sharif at any time. Well, the Aussie, huh? He's he he's, he he whacks the, the Zadu S on the back <laughs> uh, to congratulate her. Well, you're on to it, mate. Now you're on to it. Finally. Well, all right. 